hello guys welcome to the channel today in this video i would like to show you three ways how you can remove audio from video in adobe premiere pro and also two ways how to disable audio not remove it from the clip but disable it so it's not going to be used in rendered file but you're still going to save it there in case you want to use it at a later point all right let's get started okay so as you can see i got this one clip here let's go ahead and throw it on a timeline it's going to create a sequence and right now as you can see there are two files on the timeline one is the video clip and another one is audio clip and usually they're both connected together and they're synchronized that's because they're coming from the same source they're coming from the same media file that we got from our camera from our cell phone or other sources of video capture and it could be your graphics card or something like that and usually those files come linked and synchronized that's why no matter if you click it on the video clip or audio clip it's going to highlight them both and if you press delete it's going to remove them both as well so that's not what we want to do but if for example you just want to remove the audio the method number one is to unlink these clips and to unlink these clips there are also two ways how you can do it one through the shortcut and another one through the top menu. First, let's do it through the top menu. For that, we gotta go to the clip menu over here and then go down here where it says unlink. And there is also a shortcut shown here, control plus L, which we're gonna use a little bit later. Let's go ahead and left click on this. And right now, as you can see, the video file is unlinked from the audio file and I can choose them separately. And when I can choose them separately, I can remove and edit them separately as well. Right now, if I press delete, it's only going to remove the audio clip and leave the video clip on the timeline. As you can see, the video clip is still present, but there is no audio. So this is how you can do it through the top menu. But for example, if you have a, another clip here, faster way to do it would be through the shortcut. And as you saw here, there's a Ctrl plus L. Once you highlight the clip and press Ctrl plus L, it's gonna do the same action. It's gonna unlink these two clips. And now you can highlight just the audio and remove it. The similar way you can do with video as well. Okay, so this was the method number one, how you can remove audio from video on the timeline in Adobe Premiere Pro. The second way how you can do it is actually without unlinking the clips from each other, but to choose them separately. And even if the clips are linked together, you can still choose them separately. For that, you just got to press and hold Alt and click on the clip that you want to select. In our case, we want to just select audio. So I'm just going to press and hold Alt and press an audio. So as you can see, I have only selected the audio clip and not the video clip. The clips are still connected together. But now, since I only have selected the audio clip, I can remove it easily as well. This is the second method how you can do it. And actually this works very well when you're working on a large project and you just don't want to press Ctrl plus L, Ctrl plus L all the time. You just select the clip that you need to remove and just remove it. That's easy. If you want to just partially remove the clip, for example, you just want to cut this audio here. It will do that as well, but it's going to still keep the files linked together. This is pretty cool because if you decide to move the clip on a timeline, it's going to move the audio with the video clip as well. So that's very important if you don't want to unsynchronize them. Okay, so and like I said, there's one more way how you can remove audio from video in Adobe Premiere Pro. And that is only to add video from the source monitor. Here's how you can do that. To do that, you just got to click on the clip that you want to add on the timeline. As you can see, it opened up in the source monitor. So there are two monitors in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is the source monitor and this is your program monitor. It actually says here source at the top and program. And from the source monitor, you can pick files. You can work like kind of like on the timeline. You can mark in and out to add certain segments, but you can only work with one file at a time. If you add another file to the source monitor, the previous file will be closed but it will still keep all the markings on that file. If you open it up again, it's going to still have that. But anyway, right now, as you can see on the bottom here, there are two icons. One is the video, another one is the audio. And you can see when I place the mouse over this icon, it says drag video only and drag audio only. So this is what we need. If you just want to add video, for example, on the timeline without audio, and this happens a lot when you need to add B-rolls to your timeline and you just don't need the audio part at all. So for that, 
we're just gonna drag video only and place it on the timeline and there you go so as you can see there is no audio there is only video part on the timeline so the video clip is fully inserted on the timeline but the audio is not added all right so these are the three methods how you can remove audio from the video in adobe premiere pro let's recap it the first way is to unlink the clips from each other and remove just the audio the second method, you can simply choose only the audio part of the clip without choosing the video by pressing Alt and selecting just the audio, and then you can just remove it. And the third way, you can just drag video only from the source monitor on the timeline without adding audio. And like I said in the beginning, I'm gonna also show you two ways how you can disable audio, and you can also do this with video as well. But I'm just going to show you example on audio. And this is good in that case if, for example, you want to reuse audio at the later point, but you don't need it right now and you don't need to play it at the moment. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So the first way would be to just mute it. And there is a little icon here that says mute track. If you press on this icon here, the track's going to be muted. So if you export the video, there's going to be only video exported without audio and there will be no sound at all. But in case you come back to the same project, the audio is still there, and if you just unmute it, you can export the same version but with audio already. So you're actually not deleting audio, you're just muting it. But the disadvantage of this method is that it actually mutes the whole track. So for example, if I have two or more files on the timeline, separated like this, if I mute this track, all this track will be muted, and there will be no audio at all. But what can I do? For example, I wanna mute this track, but I wanna keep audio from this track. Well, in this case, you cannot mute the whole track. You can either put the audio clip on the second track, which is not muted, as you can see. So right now, you will have this part muted, and then once it gets to here, the audio will start playing. So this is in the case if you wanna do that. But if you wanna keep them on the, on the same track, what you can do, you can just turn off this clip. And for that, we need to highlight it separately. So for that, just press and hold Alt and select the clip and press Shift plus E. Right now, the clip has been disabled and it's not going to play. So you can even unmute it, but it's not going to play because this clip, as you can see, it became very dark. And this means that it's not visible, it's not going to be playable. If, for example, I do the same thing on the video, highlight it and plus shift plus E, it's going to disable the video. As you can see, the audio is playing. When you look up here, as you can see, the audio is playing, but there is no video. So as you can see, the clips are still linked together. If you remove one, they're both going to be removed, the audio and video. But if you select them separately, just by pressing Alt and selecting either video or audio, you can also go to the clip menu here. At the bottom here, you see that there says enable and the shortcut for it is shift plus E. So if you left click on it, as you can see, the clip has been disabled. And if I go back to the clip menu again and enable it, it's enabled again. So this is how you can disable or enable audio from video on the timeline, but still keep the audio track present. But during rendering or exporting the file, there will be no audio at all. So there you have it, guys. There are three methods how you can remove audio from video in Adobe Premiere Pro and two ways how you can disable or just mute the audio from video but still have no audio in exported file or the rendered file. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more helpful, interesting videos and Adobe Premiere Pro tutorials. If you have any comments, questions, drop them down in the comment section below. And if you know any other ways how to remove audio from video, also let me know in the comment section below. That would be interesting to know. And if you want to learn more about Adobe Premiere Pro, you can go ahead and check out my other videos as well. But this is it for now. I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.